Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your location news update. Hi, I'm Brittany Palmer with news about what's going on at and around Cabrini College. And I'm Casey Semenza, and this is your weekly news update. In these winter months, snow and ice can be extremely detrimental to your well-being and your pockets if it is not properly cleaned off of your car. According to the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission, those who fail to remove all snow and ice from their car can face a fine ranging from $200 to $1,000. In the state of Pennsylvania, it is against the law to operate a car with ice and snow still attached. Have you ever seen fine art made from hundreds of feet of tape? Well, that's exactly what Cabrini College will be getting from artist Jay Walker through his The Satellite Plus The Heart exhibit in the Gorovan Gallery located in the Holy Spirit Library. The exhibit will be on display from February the 4th until March 6th. For more information about the artist, visit www.jaywalkerstudio.com. Speaking of art, would you like to purchase some? The Academy of Notre Dame in Villanova is holding its 43rd annual art show and sale that will take place January 30th to Saturday, February 6th. The week-long exhibition is free to enter and features nearly 100 artists' works in many different mediums such as oils, watercolors, acrylics, ceramics, sculptures, glass, and more. For more information, you can visit www.ndapa.org slash artshow. Over winter break, Dr. Andrew Prahn was hired to help and support Cabrini faculty in developing online learning and instructional designing. Let's take a look at how Dr. Prahn got here and what he does. So we, you know, when, whenever we try to hire anybody for Cabrini, we, we're looking for the best person possible. That's, that's the best fit at Cabrini as well. So we look for people who have a good fit and um, uh, try to get the biggest pool possible about uh, for those candidates. This person's going to work a lot with faculty, so the search committee was was um, comprised mostly of faculty members who uh, interviewed, uh, looked at all the candidates, interviewed the finalists, and then made a recommendation to me. Who and then it's my responsibility to make the final uh, decision. My job is twofold. I work with faculty members to integrate technology into the classrooms, and also work with faculty members on Cabrini Learn, which is Blackboard and the online learning system. Um, one of the goals is to increase our online presence um, as we develop more hybrid and totally online programs for students at Cabrini. Somebody, you know, somebody who uh, can work with a variety of different kinds of projects. Uh, this person is going to work with uh, a lot of different faculty, a lot of different staff people to, to help to set up a lot of different kinds of courses. And so we wanted somebody who was creative um, and could be flexible working with a lot of uh, faculty members, but also somebody who is a good listener because a big part of this job is going to be hearing what the faculty member wants to accomplish in the class and then helping them to design what that would look like on, on the computer or on the student end of, of how they're doing the, the learning. I hope to have a, a positive impact, especially in the terms of service learning, uh, but also a positive impact as we start to grow, grow instructional technology. I think one of the most valuable parts of online learning is that um, if you look at real-world opportunities in the job, people are always collaborating online. We've never had an instructional designer before, and it's something we've been saying for, for quite a while that we need. Faculty have been asking for the additional support with online courses and with technology, and so it's, it's a new position, and so in many ways it's a great opportunity for Dr. Prawn to shape it the way he wants it to be. There was a serious oil spill Monday afternoon, dumping thousands of gallons of home heating oil into the Schuylkill River, which feeds into the Delaware River. Over 4,000 gallons of oil leaked into the river. The spill was traced back to an emergency generator at the CenturyLink facility in Philadelphia. CenturyLink is a provider that offers wireless, phone, and TV service plans. A multi-agency cleanup started and intake valves have been shut off to prevent this spill from becoming a major health concern. In more local news, car enthusiasts can unite in Philadelphia from January 30th through February 7th for the 2016 Philadelphia Auto Show. The auto industry's latest creations will be put on display at the Pennsylvania Convention Center. Visitors can get up close and personal with 700 new and innovative cars and can test drive many on the streets of Philadelphia. The huge showroom floor shows the vehicles by category, ranging from green vehicles to classic antique cars. VIP tickets are for $225, which includes dining and dancing among some of the world's finest cars, as well as an open bar. General admission is a bit more budget friendly, coming in at $14. All proceeds will be benefiting the Division of Neurology at the Children's Hospital of Pennsylvania. 
Thanks for tuning in to News on Location. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms by simply searching Location News. I'm Brittany Palmer. And I'm Casey Semenza. Have a great week, Cabrini.